Hi everyone, how are you today? My name is Abdulaziz Ahwan from Indonesia and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to continue the previous video about Givenix tutorial series. And today, we are going to talk about tab pin. In the previous video, we have tried to implement spinner with Givenix. But before we are going to the main topic of this video, I am very grateful if you want to click the subscribe button to make this channel growing up. Okay, thank you so much and let's get started with my tutorial. Hi guys, first of all I want to say sorry for my English is not good, so if the word I use are incorrect, please help me to point out. Okay. Today, we are going to learn together about tab pin. In the previous video, we have done together about spinner. If you want to watch my previous video, link on my video description. Okay, first, open your IDE. In this section, I use IntelliJ IDE. And then, I select create new project. If you are not familiar with this software, you can use your favorite IDE, okay? And I select JavaFX and then JavaFX application and then select next and here I give my project name tab pin demo, okay? And select finish. Okay, so here is our project and in this project, we have three main file, main.java, controller.java, and sample.fxml. The next step is, don't forget to import Givenix library on your project. If you don't know how to import Givenix on your project, you can watch my first video, link on my video description. Okay, and then, the next step is open fxml file in scene builder. So make sure you have installed scene builder on your computer. If you still don't know how to install scene builder on your computer, you can watch my first video link on my video description. Okay? Right click on the sample.fxml and then select open in scene builder okay here is sample.fxml file so in this file we can design our application let's design together i don't need grid pane so i delete this and I add anchor pin and make sure you have installed Givenix on your scene builder so you can find here custom component today we are going to focus on GFX tab pin so add and then I add tab one more again so as we can see here we have two tab I want to make one more like this so we can edit every tab maybe top 3 top 8 and the last is maybe new release so we can select preview and then show preview in window like this Okay, and the next, 
we can create CSS file on our project and I give CSS file with name main.css and then I connect my anchor pane with my CSS so I find style sheet and then select on the plus button and find CSS file here main.css save and then go to the CSS file again and here we can custom with height and color and much more okay we can try one by one okay first we can custom with so we can call dot tip and then fx pref with i want to make it 160 and then fx pref pref hack or maybe 60 and go to the go to the sample.fxml and here we can see look like this bigger than before okay so we can select preview and now it's more better okay and we can go to the CSS file again and we can change the color with dot tab either background and then we can call fx background color I'm sorry color background color here and here we can custom color with color we want in this section I want to use this color and go to the sample.fxml file again and as we can see now background color on the header is changed okay we can select preview and look like this okay we can make it bigger maybe we can change this to 200 okay look like this and the next step is we can change this line with another color so we can go to the css file again and then call dot we can call with gfx tab pane and then dot tab selected line and we can call with fx border color and we can change with color we want in this section i use white color so we can see here thanks to the white color and we can preview look like this and i want to change with another color maybe orange and go to the sample.fxml file again and look like this okay i think it's more better than default tab pane on javafx so we can use gfx tab pane okay okay look like this so we can custom header background color and we can custom selected tab with 
another color we want so it's more better and I think this beautiful than default tab pen okay I think enough my tutorial today if you have any question or comment you can write it down on the comment field thank you so much and see you again on the next video